So hi, my name is uh, Daniel Kopecz. Uh, I'm from Krakow, Poland. I'm full-time artist. I'm studying at Academy of Fine Arts at uh, Graphic Design Faculty and I'm learning uh, new techniques of creating uh, visuals both on the computer and in this ancient way on workshop um, graphic design classes where um, we print original limited graphics with uh, our, our designs. 3D design, working in Illustrator, designing sometimes leaflets, books and stuff like that, uh, posters for art exhibitions or events. Also, I'm working at my own business. I make workshops, different graphic techniques, so people can join us and learn new techniques, even if they are not into the art. I want to make art more common in Krakow and in people's minds, because I think it can be um, it can heal a lot of people actually, so yeah. <laughs>
is connected with me so it's visible that those lines are made by me uh, if you put some works together you can see that they are made by different persons because they are going to be different even if they are showing the same object because everyone has different expression and I think this expression is a part of being a part of uh, putting a piece of yourself into the artwork so it's not the main goal for me to be visible in my works but i think i'll always be there and that's okay for me because i, I don't want to run away from it it's it's natural for me to be visible in my artworks I think the key factor here is to bring your art to the audience and I know it's quite hard doing art, also work as a manager, as a photograph, to make reproductions of your art, to post them uh, as a copywriter, to post them on the Instagram. It's a lot of work but what helped me to sell my first work was bring my art to the audience so I had this opportunity to show my work at exhibition in Zofia Weiss Gallery when I was at my first year of studies at Academy of Fine Art so it's important to describe your art it's important to talk with people a lot about your creative process. Bring your art to them. So you have to tell your audience that seeing your art is free, that they can enjoy uh, your art on social media. And you have to find your target and that's also really hard. So you have to guide people where they can find your art and also you have to go outside. Also, you have to be aware that you, um, you have to be prepared. You have to have your business card to give to the people. You have to take part at the events also in different cities. Sometimes you have to pay people to, to show your work, but it's worth it. It allows you to be visible, to show people that, hey, I exist, uh, you can join me at my creative process uh, and watching, is, it's free, you can just enjoy with me and it's important because to sell your art you have to first of all make a lot of friendships talk a lot with people, explain a lot, because people are buying you, mainly you, and people are buying the artist, not, not the artwork, but the story behind it, the whole concept, the whole feeling. If there is some chemistry, if they have chemistry with this artwork, they will pay for it. So it's not necessary to bring down the prices, but to build the story. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of <laughs> nights without sleep, <laughs> but it's, for me it is worth it. Uh, sometimes you have to work smart, not hard, but you have to find ways to show your art. Maybe it can be small exhibitions, uh, but people will walk by, they will stop around your painting, they will take pictures, tag you on social media and it will grow day by day, but you have to be consistent. So that's the, uh, another key factor. I learned a lot from others. Actually, in my early years in art school, it was art high school in Krakow, I was not that good, but I had a lot of energy to work. It was important that 
I've listened to my teachers, uh, my masters, because they showed me on examples what's more unique. I know that it is hard to listen, because nobody wants to hear that they do something wrong. Yeah, but you have to take it. Of course, you can disagree. That is also important, but someone told me that, okay, do what you think is better for you at home, but during the classes, try doing this my way. So this way, I'm gonna study in both ways and I'm gonna learn more. So I was listening and I was repeating what they told me, but also, on the other hand, I had courage to do my own stuff by myself. So I thought, like, that's not the end of my journey, but I'm ready to start making something by myself and taking the responsibility and learning from my own mistakes. I still do listen to them because uh, they have a lot of more knowledge than me. But on the other hand, I'm not scared to, to try stuff. Yeah, I think you can learn a lot from the others, especially even from when students from different countries come here for, for Erasmus. You can learn a lot uh, like different ways of view things from them because they are from different cultures from different circles of uh, so social circles once my colleague told me that she only learns from from mistakes of others and i was like so you don't make any mistakes i don't think that's possible uh, and i don't like like this strict way of view. I like to make mistakes because they learn me a lot.